I remember very, very early on going to church and just hearing everyone singing harmonies. And one of the girls at uh, the school played ukulele. And even like, I must have been two or three thinking, <laughs> I want to play something like that. But when I was 11, um, I came home after school and my parents said, have a look under the couch. And um, I looked under and there was a brand new guitar. And I was, I, I still feel excited just thinking about it actually. And just didn't look back, just absolutely loved it. I loved the tones. I loved experimenting with sound and tones and then chord sequences and I think then eventually realising you could write songs as well and having that expression, that chance to kind of um, express your feelings and stuff through music and lyrics. Just as a young kid, it was just such a beautiful opportunity. The events in your life, the happenings in your life, your beliefs, they all kind of go into a melting pot and when you stop thinking about them, they often come out in, in music. If that isn't love, is about the three biggest loves in my life. My whole life I thought I wasn't going to have kids. Um, I'd had some radiation treatment when I was quite young, and so the, the odds of it happening were quite low. So when, you know, we found out that, yeah, we were, we were going to have Renee, just had that extra little hint and tinge of joy, I guess. I felt an outpouring of love in my heart and as I wrote and sang, I thought if this isn't love, what I'm feeling now for these girls, then what, what's love? We'll 
If that is our love If that is our love If that is our love 